So how, how is the offseason for your guys, uh, the tour duty and all that? Everything's been going great. Uh, I think those guys worked out very hard, very well. Excited about the progress of what those guys are going on. The guys who've come in, the Murphys, the young guys that we have with Cryer and, and Blake, and then also the way DeMarco's came around. De DeMarco's been the offseason surprise because what he's been doing, he worked out very fast, very good, and he's doing a great job. So the more we get going and everything else, we'll be all good. We just got to keep working and, and grow up. And that's the one thing that I say, one of the coaches I've coached with, he said, hey, Randy, you got to grow them up. And you look at what you mean? No, you got to grow them up. And that's my job, to grow them up quick, to get them ready to go. And that's the beauty about coaching young guys. You get an opportunity to see them grow. And there's a lot of things that people say pressure on you. And I know pressure on those guys. All we want them to do is come into the spring, have fun, but have a, a mindset of communicating. If you can communicate this spring, the easy part to come by your plan. It's got to be nice to have DJ just as a guy who's, I mean, he's played so much football in the system mm -hmm. uh, to help those guys. It's fun. It'd be good for, you know, we got DJ coming back and, and expectation of him to take that next step also. DJ was the guy who played a lot of football, you know, uh, that helped us out on first down, second down, even played some third down last year. Now we got to take that next step for him to, to be that guy, but not be that guy in a raw, raw way. Just be that guy and be who DJ is, a guy who can make plays, who can stop the run, who can play on third down. Now, are we going to add more reps and things like that? Yeah, we may add him a little bit of reps, but the other guys is going to be the key to everything we do. Because if, if we're able to get a four-man, five-man rotation, then everybody can play that 25 to 35 plays a game and be fresh at all the time. Now, if we're not able to get those development, then it'd be a little bit tougher for everybody. But that's my job this spring to find out who can do it, which way we can do it, and who can learn what. Uh, limitations as far as learning, uh, I'm not going to put any limitations on anybody. You know, DJ's going to play, you know, three positions. Omar's going to play three to three positions. Uh, looking for, you know, Blake and Cryer to maybe play two. Just depends on how far we go in spring on where they can go mindset is. Uh, and just looking for Murphy just to, to fill in, you know, find out what he can do. I'm not going to go out there, and as a defensive staff, we always say don't give a guy too much, you know, because if you give a guy expectations of you playing first, second, third down, nickel defense, base defense, and moving guy around, that becomes a little strenuous, and then you, you kind of forget where you're at. And we don't want that. We want guys to play fast and have fun with it. When I, I spoke to Omar after the bowl game, and he mentioned that he had been banged up last season, did that kind of – was he able to do everything – did you guys get everything out of that last season as you were hoping for out of him? You know, well, he was banged up, well, you know, but, but he played through it. And that's one thing about, you know, we look at Omar from the standpoint of we wanted more out of him and he wanted more of it himself, but we knew what the limitations were, and he knew what the limitations were. Now, he's a young man that uh, when we started August camp and end of spring last year, he was one of the guys. I mean, even other guys, you know, Tatum, Delo, and uh, – Deloach, when I say Lundy, he was nervous and they, because, because of what Omar was doing. And when he went into fall camp, he was doing it. Right before the season, he was doing it. So it just, we all excited to see him get back and see him back running around healthy because he hasn't been healthy yet. You know, it's always been a nick here and nick there. And this is an opportunity this spring to see some great things from him. I'm sure there were growing pains getting Blake and Justin out there some last year. But how good was that for them to just get on the field? As freshman. It was good. It was great for them uh, to go out there on the field and play. And I, I think I give a lot of credit to the guys that that was in the room also. You know, Lundy and Omar, them, they took them guys under their wing and show them how to be, to grow up fast. But I mean by growing them up, you got to grow them up. And I think by them understanding that, hey, you got to watch film when you don't want to. And you got to get the film in when you think you can just go home and sleep. And they became overnight – they understood what it take. And then it's offseason, they're still doing the same things. So the more that those guys can understand how to, how to grow up and be a professional, the easier it will be, the transition will be. And we're going to continue to do that, but that comes from that room. It's not coming from me, that room who sets those standards. And right now those guys are doing that. And I'll continue to the, 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 get them to where they need to be and continue to grow them and, and, and make them be who they need to be. From a physical standpoint with, with Murphy coming in, during tour duty, and the, can you get a feel for what he can be from a physical standpoint? You know what, or you... don't know much until we get in. Everybody can go. I mean, we're, we're a strong football team, not where we want to be at. totally. Like, you have never satisfied, and I think Coach Storm will do a tremendous job in the weight room. But they always want more. But I think we're strong right now, and it's going to predicate on the field on what we do. I don't want a guy to go out there and feel like 
be a bully on a football field. Well, go hit an offensive lineman just because you want to hit one to show that you're big, you know, you're strong. No, play the game and mature in your mind, but have the communication factor of what we're going to do to excel. And the more we continue to do those things, the better off we'll be. When you, you said DeMarco has been a, a kind of a surprise this offseason, what, what kind you of You know what, like, you know, last season he was young. Yeah. He was very young. You know, the maturity factor didn't sit in last year like we expected to because he had to play early. You know, all the guys we brought in early had to play early. And now it's like this spring has come around. It's like he's going a million miles an hour. The drill work he's doing, the communication, the way he's leading, the way he's, you know, competing. It's totally different to Marco, but that's a part of a young man that's taking the next step. Now we got to take that next step when we get in, you know, pads and everything to spring football and where he's going to be, and we're excited to see where his growth is going to be. And then you got the young pups coming in. Uh, <laughs> are they just heads still swimming? A little, to a little, a little, but it's like anything else. The guys who's in that room are helping them out, right. and, that, and, they, and they got those guys coming up meeting. When, when we're not allowed to meet with them, they coming up and meeting with those guys. So. It's, uh, how you can say it, they want to be successful as a room, and they understand that injuries can happen any time of the year. And I think it showed up like early in the season when we didn't play Tatum early at one game, we rested him. Well, Cryer and Blake had to play. Then we played North Alabama, then all of a sudden, though one of them two had to show up. So it's continually to understand that we're going to be successful by the last guy in the room. Not the first, second, or third guys, the last round of the room, how much that you know and how much you learn, that's how much better we're going to be as a group and as a team. And the last thing I want to ask you, Coach Norvell was talking about how nice it is to have a whole staff together for several years in a row. Mm -hmm. What's it like just being on a staff with a lot of continuity? It's great because you know what? You have expectations of each other. We know how you know the budgets each other. We push each other to be at a high level. We continue to do those things. But the expectations of, of each coach know what you want to do, know what they want, and, and as a group, what we want and, and what the leadership is. And Coach Norvell always said all the time, we are as good as what we're going to be on how we perform as a group. And it's a big family here, a big team, and we continue to stress that with each other. And if it's a family, there's a bunch of great guys that you continue to want to be with all the time. And I'll add, I have one more. So did you coach Earl's dad? Yeah. In, in I coached Earl's dad, yeah. yeah. Well, coach, at Miami, he, I, I recruited him out of high school. Right. He went to Michigan, transferred back to the University of Miami. And he was on the staff when I was there, and we coached him and everything else. Yeah, I, Coach his dad. Earl's been knowing Earl a long time. Are they similar as players or different? Earl was a true free safety. Can ball hawk. You know, the senior was. The, uh, junior don't have the skill set as dad because dad was a real good athlete, in my opinion. Now, do I think Earl Junior has some athletic ability? Yes, he does. He's a more bigger, stout, you know, more muscular guy, but he has that, uh, that which is un unique. I tell you the one that you probably didn't know. Justin Cryer, brother, plays at Houston. He's the point guard. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, he's a point guard. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, he went back to see his brother play in the, um, in the Big 12 championship wow. game and stuff like that. But, you know, you Number brought up that. Country. Yeah, you brought up about, you know, yeah, Earl yeah. Loder, and that just rung a bell to me. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, those guys, the, the Lodos, they, they've been somebody I've been knowing for a long time, you know, the family. And his mom I've been knowing a long time also.